Unraveling the idiom, having a headache. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a common phrase in the English language, having a headache. While it may sound straightforward, this phrase can be used in both literal and figurative contexts. Let's explore its meanings, usage, and some examples to help you understand it fully. When someone says they're having a headache, they're usually referring to the physical pain in their head. It's a discomfort many of us have experienced, and it's often described as a throbbing, constant, or sharp pain in the head. In this section, we'll discuss symptoms and descriptions, how people commonly describe their headaches, common causes, factors like stress, dehydration, or lack of sleep that can lead to a headache. Interestingly, having a headache can also be used metaphorically. In this sense, it doesn't involve physical pain but refers to a situation or a problem that is annoying and hard to deal with. This section will cover metaphorical meaning, how having a headache can describe a troublesome situation. Examples in context, real life scenarios where this phrase might be used figuratively. Phrases similar to having a headache exist in many languages, but they may carry slightly different nuances. This section explores cultural interpretations, how the concept of having a headache varies across different cultures. Idiomatic variations, other common phrases in English that convey a similar meaning, like a pain in the neck. It's one thing to understand the phrase, but another to use it correctly in context. This section provides tips on conversational usage, how to naturally incorporate having a headache into dialogue, writing tips, guidelines for using this phrase effectively in written English, whether it's casual or formal. We hope this exploration of having a headache has cleared up any confusion and added a new expression to your English repertoire. Remember, language is not just about words but the stories and nuances they carry. Keep practicing, and you'll find that even simple phrases like this will enrich your communication. See you in our next video, and keep learning!